How's it going? It's Michael, and today I have a DynamoDB test containers uh, with Java uh, tutorial I'd like to show you. So let's get into it. All right, so what is test containers? Test containers is an integration testing tool for Java. I think there's, yeah, other languages here as well. But basically, it'll spin up any Docker container that you specify along with your test. So you have a JUnit test. It'll also specify or spin up the Docker container so you can do tests against that, that container there. Yeah, so today I'm doing one with DynamoDB, so let's look at that. All right, so here I am in a uh, JUnit test file. I've named it integration test because that's basically what it is. It's, it's connecting to an, uh, an external third-party system, right? DynamoDB. Um, but basically, you do specify this annotation, at test containers, and make sure you add the uh, dependencies in your Gradle or Palm file. And then you have this at container here, which uh, you specify which container you want test containers to spin up during your test run. So I've specified Amazon DynamoDB local and mapped it to this uh, port 8000. And then you can get uh, whatever port or host and mapped port that test container specifies. I believe it finds like an open one for you that's available. All right, and then I have the table name specified, the region, and then a custom DynamoDB endpoint that I construct because I need to tell my DynamoDB client where DynamoDB lives. So that's kind of done here dynamically uh, in this like setup method. And then I have uh, a create table or check if the table exists. That way I don't create a new table on each test run because this app before each runs this method before each uh, test. So if I have multiple tests, this is really helpful. Okay, and then here's a quick test that I've written. This iterates about five or six times. I can't remember if it's five or six, but uh, and then I have a, an example Pojo here. That's a DynamoDB bean, and my partition key is key, and I just have a string data here for simplicity. But obviously, it could be more complex. Uh, then I just save the items. So I have a simpler, simple helper method here. And then I do a get item here, which is just getting the item from DynamoDB by the primary key. And then I assert that both of these objects uh, are equal. So I can just quickly run this. Obviously, it's going to work. and It's a very simple example, but uh, I found that you know, I, had, I took quite a bit of time setting up all this uh, I guess kind of infrastructure <laughs> or configuration, I guess you could say, uh, to get this working. So hopefully it can help you out. So that's my, my goal to help uh, speed up your development on this. All right. Uh, and that is it. I think that's all I have. So all of this is in the repo here. Uh, so you can clone this run the test yourself, do whatever you want with it. Hopefully it's a good rep uh, reference implementation for you. Anyways, thanks a lot. That's it for today.